Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are finally, finally doing an apartment tour. I am so excited because I moved into this apartment in August or September of last year. Finally has felt like things have come together. So I am finally doing an apartment tour. I wanted to do this like a little MTV Cribs moment, but I couldn't get anyone over here to film me doing this, which is totally fine. So we're just gonna be doing it, us two, just us two. I'm just gonna be walking you guys through my apartment and everything like that. I'll also link some stuff down below if you guys are wanting any of the items that I talk about. I'll tell you guys which stuff I loved and which stuff maybe you should pass on. I've had some of this stuff for a while, but without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty, you guys might remember this from my vlog of moving in and I'll show you guys how I've kind of transformed everything. Right when you walk in, this is the view. We got a shoe rack here. This is a nice closet that I have some storage with that's really nice. And then over here, we have the couch that took forever to get in. I finally got it in October. I had moved in in August, like I said. I got these canvases from Big Wall Art. It's not really canvases, cause it's like, it's like textured fabric and then you install it into the frames. But I got these, you can do payment plans. They have a ton of cool artists and I absolutely love it. I think this around was 300 total, I wanna say. Um, I'll link them down below. And then moving over here, I have another little bookshelf set up here. I was trying to get one this size to replace it and it ended up being this size. So I think this was from Amazon. Um, just another little place to store, you know, keys, purses, like that kind of stuff, and then some decorative pieces. We got the Casa bucket for my Arizona fam and all my ticket boxes here. And then we have the fake Electric Forest 2020 lineup that we made for that vlog, if you guys remember it. And then I got this from a subscriber, Taylor Oaks on Instagram. She has her own art, so I will link her down below as well. There's gonna be lots of links today. <laughs> And then I have my totem piece up here, even though my logo has changed. This was from 2019. Um, another little display, we got a disco neon light from Shop Be Glitz. Um, I'll show you guys what this place looks at nighttime too once it gets there. Then another bookshelf with some storage. And then we got the TV up above the fireplace. Absolutely love it. I wish we could manage these cords, but we'd have to do some drilling into holes and I rent this place. Um, fireplace, we did not use it through the winter time, although it would have been really clutch during the ice storm. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. My snake plant is doing beautifully. I um, got a new pot for her. She's growing so great. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> she was a little damaged when I got her because she was in our office back during quarantine and then I finally rescued her in August. And then I have one of these little plushie guys. This is so funny, guys. He turns angry. I'll link the plushie too. Here we have the coffee table. I liked the color of the coffee table. I wish I would have gotten a different size just because I like to sit and eat at the coffee table and it's a little hard because my legs get in the way here. But nonetheless, we've made it work. I think it goes really well with, you know, the bean bag, the couch, the rug, all of it. And then we got this little like centerpiece here. I put candles, I have my Nintendo Switch. These pillows came with the couch. I still don't know if I love them, but we have them. And then another lamp. I have two colored light bulbs in there. And then I got that little basket from Target. It just has blankets and stuff. So that is the living space. I'll show you guys what it looks like once it gets to nighttime, cause it looks so cool with all the neon colors and everything like that. You guys know I love my rainbows in the afternoon when the sun hits them. So we have a rainbow shatter glass. This also kind of helps from people not seeing into my apartment, which is really nice. And then I have just some other stickers too. So I'll show you what that looks like when the sun starts to come out and hits it. And then out on the patio here, I don't have anything. I killed a cactus, so that was really sad. I still kept like this little part of it. And then there is a closet out here, more storage, I love that. That's the one thing I do love about this apartment is there's a lot of storage, which helps. I didn't know I had so much stuff, but you know, it's okay. Coming down the hallway here, I have some artwork that I got from Paris when I was in Paris and I studied abroad there in college. Mm -hmm. And 
then here's my little creative space. I love this space right here. And this is switched up a little bit, you guys. So before all the computer setup used to be over here, I now moved it over because I got a standing desk. This desk I got from Amazon and I absolutely love it. And so I keep all of like my techie things and now it's gonna be like a little meditation journaling kind of corner. I have printer and then more tech stuff like cameras, tripods, all of that stuff. We got a file cabinet <laughs> since I work from home now and I have like a lot of just random papers and files. I was like, you know what, we need a file cabinet. So that I got from Amazon as well. We love Audrey Hepburn. She's always been in my apartment somehow. The lighting just turned on me. And then this was also something I got from Paris on the right hand side. Um, so yeah, this is just a cool like little nook that I now have. I think I wanna keep it this way. The only other thing I can see happening is maybe I get rid of it and just get like a small little dining table for Chase and I, but that's TBD. I think I also wanna get another rug just to fill out this space. And so when I roll the chair back and forth, it doesn't go, um, you know, it doesn't make the rug all crinkled or anything. And then this is the standing desk. I will link the standing desk, you guys. It is so, so awesome. It wasn't that hard to build. There was only one part I got stuck on. Um, but I have my microphone for the podcast and everything attached to it. I got the stand from Amazon and the mic from Amazon. And then the laptop stand, I have my laptop, my monitor, all of it hooked up. Could do a little bit better with cord management, but you know what, it's, it's a little difficult with a standing desk since it moves up and down. You have to like make sure that the cords don't pull and stuff like that. Got this chair from Bonzi Home. I love it so, so much. It has been such a lifesaver for my back. I feel like I can sit for longer. It also does one of these, <laughs> like I can like, have my foot rest up and everything, like, hello. I can just, whew, after a long day of work, can just sit down and relax, chillax and all of that, so much fun. And then I put a little cover back there just so you guys um, can't see that much cord so it looks a little bit better. And then the speaker, Chase, is letting me borrow. I really honestly got this desk for DJing because <laughs> I feel like it would be a lot easier, but then I ended up just moving everything over and it, it'll work for DJing, but also just like working too. And so this is how it goes up and down. You can put settings on it. So this setting here is like what looks best when, you know, I'm standing at a good level, not straining my neck and like it's a pretty good eye level kind of level for me. And so um, you can go the arrow up, you can go down. And so I just have different settings, like one that's like lower, I think is no, three. So that's just gonna go right back down. And that's like the perfect level for where I sit. I installed this backdrop hanger. So I got a curtain rod and I got some backdrops. Um, I'm probably gonna switch them out too, but I think it's so perfect because I can now like film right here do the podcast right here, like, and have it be a really nice backdrop as opposed to this backdrop. Wasn't too bad, but um, yeah, it's just gonna look a lot nicer. So I'm really happy about that. Over here in the kitchen, I have a calendar. That's some artwork I got from Prague. Um, this is just like another little, you know, random stuff area. <laughs> and then over here in the kitchen, some more artwork that I got from a follower, Strange Graves, Jessie, I think her name is. She gave me a ton of art and I've just been slowly like putting it around the apartment. Um, dishes, smoothie, vitamin stuff, toast or bread, toaster, scale. Um, and then over here we have the air fryer. I just got an electric tea kettle and a milk frother. Um, so I'm excited about all that. And then this is all just like random kitchen stuff up in here, random stuff up there. Um, this is all like tea, smoothie stuff, healthy stuff. And then this is more like flour, rice, all of that kind of stuff. Then also up here, I installed something kind of fun, kind of fresh, just added to it because there's such high ceilings in this place. So yeah, we got some lights installed up there. Um, that was really fun getting up there and doing it. I wish I could like keep it going like all the way around, but I should probably stop myself. <laughs> Going 
going in to the bedroom where the magic happens. I'm just kidding. Um, I installed some curtains in here. I wonder if I can get better lighting. Yeah, so there's a curtain rod and some curtains. These are blackout curtains from Walmart. The rod is also from Walmart. Um, it really just keeps my room really dark, which is really nice. And then my mirror, I got the mirror from TJ Maxx. If you ever want a mirror, go to TJ Maxx or Ross. They always have super cheap big mirrors like this. And then I got the Ivy from Amazon and then this disco ball from Amazon. Chubby Wubby did that art, so love that. We have more art over here. This is art from my follower, Marissa G Art. And then this is from Alexis Raccoon. I don't know how you pronounce it. And then I DIY'd this ivy fairy string curtain thing the lights haven't been doing too well i don't know what happened if i like burned them out or something but it still looks kind of cool so we're gonna keep it and then i have this tapestry here i think i actually want to try and put it on the ceiling and then get another um canvas art because i have a brand that's gonna send me a canvas art so that might go back up there and then get something new there so we'll see about that um have a little nightstand here with a humidifier book, nighttime stuff. This nightstand I got from Amazon, in case you guys are curious. The vanity is also from Amazon. It also has, when it's plugged in, it has a ring light, so it lights up, which I really like, because um, most of the light comes this way, and so <laughs> it's hard to do my makeup, so it's nice that I can have a light there. This is like my little dresser. I don't recommend this dresser. I just got it because I needed something quick and there was nothing really available. I found it on Amazon. It doesn't really give a lot of space. I have more clothes in my closet um, that would normally go in a dresser. So not really I recommend it, but I found it on Amazon. Then we have my little festival board, jewelry, everything like that. Christmas card from Chase, so sweet. Um, and then the stream catcher that my mom got made by my cousin, which was really cute. And then over here, oh, I just love this spot. Every time I come and look at it, we got my rave cowboy hats. We got the electric forest flag, another disco ball. I used this backdrop for a photo shoot and then it just worked out perfectly to like put it in this spot. So I have the clothing rack from Target. Absolutely love it. It's just so perfect and cute. And then whatever outfits I'm planning or whatever new outfits I got, I put here just because, I don't know, it gives you that inspiration. And then I got my naked wool shoes, which was like very big treat yourself purchase. So I love that. There is a light up here. Um, it's kind of ugly, <laughs> but I thought maybe eventually I'll get like a light strip or something there. Um, and then the closet. So I love this closet, it is huge. <laughs> um, so right when you walk in, I got dresses, I got more casual stuff, all of my festival shoes and boots are up here. Um, jackets, long sleeves, all the winter stuff, pants, skirts, and then all of my festival stuff. So it's kind of nice that I can like have space and hang up some of the festival stuff. Um, I still have more of the sets in this organizer and then this is all of like my hydration packs and all of that. And then we have pashminas and scarves over here, all my face masks, my perler candy necklaces I was able to hang up, belts and accessories, and then all my kitty ears and head pieces. I'm thinking about maybe putting some stuff here like just more art, thinking about it, need to get some more frames for some of the art I have. And then I got this organizer for more of the stuff. So we have candy, um, candy bracelets, candy cuffs. This has fans in it. This has glow effects like kaleidoscope glasses and stuff. This has bucket hats in it and then the sunglasses. This is all like, this is more candy. This is more like rave supplies, I guess you could say, like earplugs, stuff like that. We have all my earrings, which is so crazy, and some necklaces too. Um, and then some chokers and some necklaces on display. And then I have another organizer here with just random stuff in it, and then some gloves and all of that. So I'm really happy with how this whole closet turned out. It's just amazing to have all of this space. And we have the bathroom. You guys might remember this from the old place. Still have the same shower curtain. Still have the same artwork in here. Um, and then this is kind of where I have everything laid out. This is more lotions, deodorant, soap, um, my face brush, 
toothpaste, and then here's all my skincare. And then this is what, something my grandma made, so I have this on display here, and then just like a medicine cabinet. So nothing crazy in here, but love the bathroom. You guys remember from the vlog, this place basically goes in a circle, so it's always kind of nice. And if and when I do have guests visit me, um, it'll be nice because they can sleep out here, use the bathroom, and they don't have to go through my room or anything like that. So I really do like, you know, the layout of everything. It feels really nice. Um, and I really enjoyed it. And then the last thing we have, this is like laundry room. I keep my studio lights in here. <laughs> it just works, you know, I just have space for it. So why not? I'm too lazy to take them down. So, and then just more cleaning supplies. And then I hang up my clothes there. Um, I do have this little corner that I thought about maybe doing something with like for photos, but, but now that festivals are coming back, I'm kind of just like, I don't know if I'll be doing too many at home photo shoots. Like, is it worth it to do something? Let me know what you guys think. I was thinking maybe like, I don't know, disco pattern or like a collage. I don't know if it's worth it. So let me know what you guys think if I should do something there. Kind of went through that a little quick, I feel like, but that is basically the apartment tour. Um, it's a little interesting because I don't think I'm gonna be here for that much longer. <laughs> um, I really have loved living in this apartment. The only thing is that it's a little bit older. So when things like the winter storm happened, my apartment wasn't very well insulated. It dealt with a lot of the blackout and water issues because it's an older apartment and just location. Um, Chase and I are about 15 minutes apart. It's not a big deal, but when we first started dating, we were literally down the street from each other. So I think we were very used to, you know, um, being super close. But it's not necessarily the distance, it's also the parking here. I was told when I moved in that as long as it wasn't a covered spot, people could park anywhere. And then when I moved in, there's visitor only parking spots and there's like few and far of those spots. And so when Chase usually gets off of work, that's around like seven o'clock and all those spots are usually taken up. So he has to park super far at like the front and like walk to mine or I have to go pick him up. So it's just really kind of inconvenient and I would want him to be over here more, but it's just kind of like annoying to have to deal with that. And so that was one of the other things that they lied to me about, you know, they lied to me about the apartment I was moving into. They lied to me about the parking. It's okay, but otherwise like, I really do love this space. And so I'll probably be here till August or September. I have like around June, July to decide. <laughs> but hopefully I can find an apartment that looks similar to this or has the amount of like square footage similar to this because I love the way I've set it up. And I really do know now that I need like separation of space. You know, I have the living room, I have my office, my little creative space, and then I have the bedroom. Having those all separate from each other has been so, so amazing. And I'm gonna do a little bit outside with the patio. I think I'm gonna get a carpet and some chairs just cause it's getting nicer out. So just so I can like be out there. I think that's my big project for the rest of March is just getting that set up so I can be able to enjoy being outside. I really have loved living in this apartment. I love living alone. <laughs> I lived alone when I first moved to Austin in 2017 and then I moved in with a roommate and was with her for two years. And living alone has just been so, so great, honestly. Um, it's just nice to have my own space and just do what I want with it. I don't have to worry about being loud with filming. I don't have to worry about like content or anything. I can just like do what I want here and then go out and hang out with people if I want to safely, of course. So it really is nice just to have my own space and it feels really good that I can like afford this space and do this for myself and everything like that. And so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to vibe with me. Everything that I mentioned that I can try to link, I will link down below. But if there's anything else that you guys want links or have questions on, feel free to comment it down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. And one more thing to close out this video, here's what my apartment looks like at nighttime.